Sacramento. Late tonight, city leaders approved a package of reforms to improve the ethics at City Hall. This comes after a series of allegations against the mayor and one of the council members. KCRA 3's Dana Griffin is live for us at City Hall to explain what may change under these new reforms. Dana? That's right. This reform passed with a unanimous vote. It includes an ethics commission and an ethics code, but not everyone's on board with the new reforms considering the allegations surrounding some of our city leaders. The approved good governance package will establish an ethics code that requires every elected official to complete sexual harassment training every two years. The code will be managed by an office of compliance, which includes a third party investigator. They don't quite do enough, uh, especially in a city where we've got uh, two council members in the last six months accused of sexual harassment by staff, uh, private emails being used to do city business and help co-op other organizations with using city staff. And it includes a five-member ethics commission. Applicants must be a retired judge, law-based mediator, law school professor of ethics or election law, and must be in good standing. After applying, four members of the city council will make a recommendation to Mayor Johnson. Therefore, the work that the mayor and city council put into these issues over the past eight to ten months is worthy of significant praise. The final step of this process will be a vote in open session. The commission candidates must get a two-third vote to be appointed to the Ethics Commission and will only be allowed to serve a four-year term. Uh, the Commission on Ethics should have more public say in who, who gets involved. It shouldn't be p picked by the council at all because that is a conflict of interest because then you're getting to pick who's going to judge you on whether or not you're following the laws that you make. And I approve of most of the comments that have been made and would suggest that uh, you have two words to look at, adopt it. Now, there's been increasing demand for better ethics here at City Hall after the mayor and city councilman Alan Warren were accused of sexual harassment and using city employees for outside business. Now, this issue may not be over. There's a watchdog group with an ethics plan of their own, and they're planning possibly to put that on the ballot in November of 2016. In Sacramento, Dana Griffin, KCRA 3 News. All right, Dana, thank you.